Assalamu alaikum all. Hello and welcome to JK's Corner. My name is Joke. Thank you for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that has been trending in the Nigerian marriage community. Unfortunately, again, we are talking about domestic violence, domestic abuse. If a woman gets married and then she chooses to leave that marriage for whatever reason, it can't have been an easy decision for her to make. The people who condemn a woman for leaving her marriage are also the people who will condemn a woman if she dies in that marriage because her husband beat her to death. While doing my research for this video, I came across, I knew the word would, exi would exist, but I didn't know what it was called when a husband kills a woman, uh, kills his wife. You saw reside which is when the husband kills the wife. Unfortunately, that is more common than wives killing their husbands. So why do I have never, I knew it would exist, but I've never heard the word yuxoricide. It is a shame in this day and age, women are staying in marriages and praying and hoping that their husband change from a wife beater to a wife lover. It is very sad. A divorced woman is far better to her kids and her friends and family than a dead wife. No matter what people are going to say, you need your sanity, you need to be there for your children and you need to set a good example for your children. If you are staying in your marriage and being beaten day and night by the father of your children, by the man who claims that he loves you and your kids are saying that, those kids are going to grow up and either accept or believe that being in an abusive marriage is the way to go. And they would end, they may end up being with his wife beater or maybe they would become a wife beater or vice versa. They could, as much as you, this woman, are thinking your husband will change and stay in that marriage. Your children are watching your move. They think what you're showing them is the way to be married and they would in turn do that when they get older. Let us please break the generational curse that is affecting many Nigerian homes. Nobody should be in a marriage where your husband raises his hands and beat you. Not only his hands, I mean, the recent occurrence in the media now, we saw where this man was using an iron to hit his wife on the head. Whether it's the same person or not, I don't know, but that video is there. And this is the reason I'm choosing not to name this woman who unfortunately died. She died on the 8th of April allegedly at the hands of her abusive husband. A man who was very famous, very much loved in the Nigerian community. You know, this is how she ended up. And people were saying, but why didn't she leave? But if she had left and the husband had gone out to say all sorts about her, we are the same people that will be blaming this woman for leaving her marriage. A lot of Nigerian men say this thing that they don't like when a third party is involved in their marriage. That is when their wives tell other people outside of their units of what is happening in their marriage. And I know a lot of women are like that as well. A lot of married Nigerian women, they like to keep their married life private. They don't share, they don't want to share details about their private, their married life. Understandable. I appreciate it. I agree with it most of the time. But there are, there are things to look out for in this secrecy. If I'm keeping secret the financial situation, financial condition of my husband, that is expected, that is understandable. But if my husband never has any positive words to say about me in the presence of my kids, or if he strikes me, you know, slaps me because I said something he doesn't agree with and I'm keeping that to myself. That is what we are talking about. I'm not, when things 
are like, I don't hear people talk about this sort of thing. And when people say this thing, people tend to condemn those that say, you know, then in your head, find there must be one person in your circle that you can trust, confide in them. And even if you don't want to confide in that level, on that scale, there are lots of anonymous pages that you can post stories to that nobody would know who's posting that story. Just to gauge what people think of the situation of things, seek counsel, speak to people who are more knowledgeable. And it doesn't have to be by age because a lot of us Nigerians think that the older you are, the more knowledgeable you are. But no, I learn all the time from younger people. So please do not die in silence. Do not sit there and think it is acceptable that your husband is treating you the way he is choosing to, to treat you. Think about it. If he was, you know, talking to his brother or his, I don't know, his mom, for example, or maybe his boss in the office or any random person, you know, outside, will he treat them the way he treats you? If the answer is no, then I think you need to talk seriously about what is happening in your marriage, what is going on in your marriage. It is not right if your husband has, or in some cases, if your wife has more respect for people outside than they have for you as their wife or their husband. Never uplift you, never commend your effort, does not support anything you do. All your money doesn't come to you. He takes all your money away from you, doesn't allow you the financial freedom you deserve and you're entitled to. All those things, please do not sit in silence. It's try and seek counsel, speak to people who will help you talk to him. Because I believe in rehabilitation a lot. I know that is not something a lot of people believe in, especially when it comes to wife batterers. But I, I don't know the reason why, but somehow I believe that not everybody is a lost cause. You find the right person to, to talk to him, he could potentially change. But if he doesn't have a handle on how he behaves when he's angry, then he has no business to be a married man. He has no business to be a dad. And those are the things you need to watch out in your marriage. Protect your kids from those kinds of violence because when those kids grow up in those homes, that is what they carry and go and how they go out there and treat other people. We are their role models. We show them how to be adults. And when they see that, that's how they may end up behaving. And I don't want that for you. I don't want that for your kids because nobody wants that embarrassment, that disgrace. You can stop that now. This is a very difficult video. It is difficult for me to record. And I know for some people, it will be a difficult one to listen to. But please, even when you notice that something may not be right in a friend's marriage, find a way of, without judgment, speaking to that friend and seeing if you can help them to find a resolution. A lot of women stay in abusive marriage for many reasons. One of the reasons is the one where parents, Nigerian parents again, where they say to their daughters, especially when they get married, You're, you, do, you no longer have a room in this house. And when there is arguments, when there is problems, when there is whatever, when the wife, when the husband beats the wife for the first, second, third time, and they go and talk to their mom or dad, they say, yeah, keep praying, he will change, don't worry, just be prayerful. But who is praying? Who is doing the, who is committing the atrocity? Why is the wife the one who is going, who is constantly praying when the husband has no intention of changing? That needs to change, one. So if the man is willing to make amends, then yes, you can advise the woman to give the man a second chance and see and hope that, you know, with prayers that he will change. But if you're not talking to him to pray, you're talking to the wife to keep praying and this husband keep beating her up, then nothing's going to change. And secondly, parents, 
stop telling your daughters that their rooms are no longer available when they get married. Let them know they will always be welcome home no matter what. Marriage is great. It's amazing. It's, it's very much loved by Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, but it isn't a do or die affair. Nobody should go into marriage and be in a worse mental situation than they were before they got married. Your marriage should be serving you in a positive and happy way. It should be bringing light into your life. It should be encouraging you. We are all individual, individually different people. Your husband has his own character flaws. You as the wife have your own character flaws. However, are those things that are violating you as a person, then that is not something you should that is not something you should be putting up with that is something if after counseling and mediation by the right people doesn't come to a stop you need to be opting out of that marriage if your marriage is affecting your sanity your well-being your spiritual life your mental well-being your physical well-being and you have tried to resolve this your, your husband you should speak you should be able to speak to your husband if he doesn't listen about these things and you are not able to come to a resolution then that marriage is not serving you please get out your kids should not be seeing you being battered day in day out by their dad your kids do not have to be saying that it's not a sight for any child to be saying your kids should not be coming in between you and your husband to try to separate your you know to try to stop him from attacking you your children should not be seeing you constantly crying constantly unhappy all in the name of i am mrs somebody please for the sake of your children and for the sake of your mental well-being no matter how much we think things will improve it chips away at our mental well-being and that is not the right way to be so for the sake of your mental well-being, for the sake of your children, please opt out of that marriage if it's no longer serving you in your spiritual life, in your just everyday life. You should not be enduring that sort of abuse from your husband. Nobody needs to be killed by the person who stood in the presence of God, family and friends and declared to honor and respect please do not let the death come from the hands of the one you lay in bed with at night this is a very hard hitting video but under the present things happening in the nigerian marriage community it needed to be done and i i hope you have taken one or two lessons please i'm talking to me in the first instance and you too let us be less judgmental of women who choose to leave a marriage. It doesn't even have to be for the sake of domestic violence. It could be just because they do not want to be in that marriage anymore. It is their right to leave that marriage. Yes, try everything you can to make the marriage work. But if for whatever reason it's not working, then allow Alam, whatever will be, will be. You know, the less we judge people, the easier it becomes for people to talk when things are going right. Because a lot of people expressed shock. Mm. I did not know she was going through this. I did not know she was going through that. I can't believe that she stayed in that marriage while she was being battered day in, day out until she died. She probably did because you and I would have judged her if she left that marriage. Please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll leave you with this final saying. It is only a mother who is alive that will experience the joys of being the mother of a bride, the mother of the groom, grandmother, great-grandmother, and see your children achieve other adulting milestones. So if for nothing else, because I know a lot of us, do most of the things we do in this life for the sake of our children. If for nothing else at all, for the sake of your children, please do yourself a favor. Forget whatever society will say. 
leave that marriage if it is abusive and you have spoken to everybody that you need to speak to and nothing stops, nothing changes. Please do not die in that marriage. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much for watching this video today. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.